Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Can you repeat the question? You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. And you're not so big. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. And you're not so big. So you think Santa will like these red and green M&Ms? I don't know. I never met the guy. <laughs> he does exist. They do exist. Oh. Uh, Santa? Good morning, Good morning Afrida. Afrida. My name is Arianne. My name is Ethan. And today is Monday, March 25th, 2024. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. <laughs> I mean, you see have any books yeah, that you no like longer them. want? Are they damage free? Donate them to the high school library. We are gathering gently used books from today <laughs> until May 6th. We will not accept any torn or damaged books. All books donated will be used for a summer grabs event at the end of this school year. Where you can rest and take home as many books as you would like for free and to keep. To a military base, the counseling office will be taking interested students on a field trip to Fort Indian Town Gap on April 26th. During the visit, you will have a chance to learn about how the military can help pay for your college, full tuition, try out multi million dollar simulators, rifle range, tank operator, troop carrier, flight simulator, tri striker, multi person vehicle, and even eat an MRE for lunch. We went last year, and the students who attended loved it. This chi the trip is open to all 9th to 12th grade students. If you are interested, please be sure to print out and return a permission form ASAP. These are available on Schoology or you can pick one up from the counseling office. On April 9th, 2024, the counseling office is taking a group of students to visit Kutztown University for the day. Please see Mr. Rouse's post in your Schoology class group for more details, as well as the field trip form. The trip is primarily for 11th grade students, but will be open to 10th grade if there is still space available. Now, over to Camel with the news. Go away! <laughs> International Waffle Day is on March 25th and celebrates waffles, their history, and a surprising religious holiday. A holiday that is best celebrated by eating waffles is our kind of holiday. Unsurprisingly, the day has become a bit of a hit. It was originally celebrated in Sweden, but now eager stomachs all over the world embrace International Waffle Day. Plug in your waffle maker and tuck into some mouth-watering treats. Now back to the main desk. Underclassmen, please take a few minutes to review your course requests for next year by logging into your PowerSchool portal. You can access requests by clicking on the class registration item under the navigation menu on your left. If everything looks good, you are done. If you would like to change a non-teacher recommended course, just have your parent message your counselor with the courses that you would like to add and or drop. If you'd like to switch a teacher recommended, <laughs> recommended course, be sure to complete a yellow teacher recommendation change form available from the counseling office or the counseling office webpage. All change requests need to be made by April 2nd. If you have any questions, reach out to your counselor ASAP. All right. For lunch! Spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> Whole grain Texas garlic toast. Cheese steaks with marinara cup. BLT with cheese and whole grain toast. Uh, Italian grinder. <laughs> Fruit and yogurt parfait <laughs> with muffin. Spinach and ma mandarin salad. French fries. Steamed green beans. Fresh baby carrots or celery slash dip. Chilled peaches, fresh fruit, or 100% juice and slushy. Now over to a special segment, then sports with Eleonora. Welcome to this year's March Madness Media Center style. 
We've already started some of our bracketology here. You can see the winners from some of our first week, but the magic is not over yet. You can still vote the final weeks with our QR code, or if you're less tech savvy, you're welcome to come up and place your vote in the media center. In Sports Action Friday, baseball won 21 to 1 at Cacalico. Boys Lacrosse won 11 to 8 at Warwick. Girls Lacrosse lost 10 to 12 versus Warwick. Softball won 15-0 versus Cacalico. Tennis won 5-2 versus Peak Creek Valley. And volleyball lost 3 to 0 versus Penn Manor. Attention, all 2024 senior student athletes planning on furthering their athletic career at the college level. NCAA Letter of Intent Signing Day will be held on Thursday, April 25th. At 4.30 in the high school gym, stop in the athletic office to pick up a participation form. And today, softball is away at Cedar Crest, baseball is away at Warwick, tennis is at LS, track is home versus garden spot, and volleyball is at Governor Mifflin. Now back to the main desk. <laughs> it's act period two today, Efforta. Have, Have a, a muck day. Muck yeah. <laughs>